It doesn't seem like they are too bothered with CCTV currently on the Fnatic side, but as Type 1 will take care of Lily, they need to start replying. Ramo finds one, Chippies on the flank is going to be able to shut down the Sledge. That certainly puts up a lot of pressure onto the CCTV side, but it's Yura that will lock him out. DMR's in a battle there, and they took the fight on with the Nook, got the kill, but it does leave this, the pressure on the side itself. Mag has the cover, Mag has the back line, and Mag has two players either side of him. Swings into the first fight, can't win it out. Fav are able to take their opening attack on border. We're stuck in a sandwich here. As soon as we moved into that small cubby, they might just lose more than they were attending here because uh, Tyfi just like prone there. Oh, wrong timing. Just decides to pull off as soon as the drone got shot and loses his life as a result. It's really that sort of split that would emphasize just how thin this map is. The spray is scrappy, but it's still Favs and Favs again. Lily, all that's left. They should still be able to lock out this round, <laughs> even with. An accidental bit of blue on blue. The spray is scrappy. They know exactly where Lily is, and they prove it. Still wondering what happened there. Was that through the hatch, maybe? Seeing someone in passport control? You just want to waste that last piece of utility before you have the opportunity to go for the plant. As Yura misses oh. an opportunity there to strike on Teopi. That really could have been either of them, to be fair. It's going to be a lean back in from Teopi either side with the MX. It's a gun that can really cut shreds in the right person. But there's the support, Afro. They've got to go for an aggressive retake round on the back side. But without the support from the hatch, it's very tricky, the Monty. Well, he's put the shield back on a four versus one. Post plant with a Montaigne on the board. It's not the easiest to take. The Monty's putting a bit of a chase in. There is no way you could be winning that in any usual circumstance. And uh, Zero will get that final kill. Tricky situation, but this is exactly the take. And there's the first sufferer from it. Lily swings wide, isn't punished by the player behind him, who's now rotated to try and apply this pressure. There it is, close and it's scrappy, but it's Lily's again. A double kill that really should have gone round to Euro's favor. The third player stacks up, gets one. There is another player, 15 seconds. They can't yep. bait for so long. Ramu locked in onto Fountain. There's the swing and the pressure comes up round towards the rotate. Ramu wins out his first. The spray through gets the next to the top of the stair set. It's a three versus one Afro. All that's left for the pistol and no kit, no time. Fnatic take their first round. So after that technical pause, there's definitely been uh, some improvements here for Fnatic. Not quite sure what Type is trying to do. Um, he might just be face checking everything, but with 10 seconds left on the clock, this verticality being out here, he really needs to dig himself in the perfect position to go for that plant because he's about to be swung on. I have no idea what Shin was going for there. That was real last gambit. They had the awareness of at least one of the players. Here, quick breaches. Utilizing two of the Selmas to make sure they have themselves a clean route through. There's the pressure onto this, the swing on the pillar. Oh. And the player removed. The upside down repel is taken out. That should get rid of any of the ADSs, which means a single grenade rolled close. We'll get the shield as well. It feels like Fav, they've decided again that they do not need the rest of that top four under control. It's fine if they are out there. Type 1 just shuts down Ramo through the wall. And now with these footsteps, they know exactly where one of these players still is. But a drop already came through and Lily in this graphic gunfight will shut down Typhon, but he might be about to be chased down. Mag gets a shotgun kill at the same time. There's a oh. second for Mag. Popped out the window, cannot slip away Euro with the drop onto the server stack. Gets a very important return, keeps the body balance in their favor. 40 seconds, they're going for the plant itself. They've seen where one of the two players is. The other, Euro, they're happy to get this stuck though. The engagement long enough for Lily to not be able to stop the plant itself. He has the fight though, he has the player and the fire, Yura. Swing comes oh. through, the positioning, oh. the grenade! Oh, that was perfectly timed. Whether he knew it or not, that was... I mean, I know. <laughs> sort of tit for tap fight, Ramu on the long range. A lot less DMRs this time. The Sort of swing round of an SMG is much better, but Choppy seems to have the swing onto that. Euro removed from 90, wants to have another swing happen, but it's waiting for Lily with the support from the opposite side. Knows exactly where it will be located. This summer will relocate him, but he gets the very first. Now looking to go aggressive on the second as well with the Bailiff. No way he gets that! It's a quad kill and for the ace, potentially eight rounds. will go for the reload, knows where this last player is. The swing comes true! He will find it! It's a light ace as he shuts them down, and it's Fav leading. 5-2. to two. It has given Fav complete control of this top four side. Needing to be very oh. careful, though. Finding Chibisu just ahead. That should have been a kill for Fnatic, though. 
Choppy's able to get themselves in on the door. They're trying to stick the kid on the far side. A double and a very important cover, but the hatch is the important part here. The rotates come round onto the top of post plant. They've retaken the verticality, and now there's only really Yura on that verticality left. They don't need to swing this. Ramu's doing exactly what he needs to do. Yura takes a huge amount of damage just on the final end, but out of time. And Fnatic, they pull themselves their first attack. And for sure, at least try and uh, put up a little bit of pressure. That drone just has not spotted out the player. That's a free kill onto Chibisu as he drops down right into the gunfight of one of the members. It's Mag that shuts him down, unaware of where the C8 was firing from, but instant replies all around the board. Oh, that was all back and forth. Typhon, he's looking for the engagement. He doesn't find it now. Choppy with a triple. I believe that's seven. Because there is someone very close up on that balcony next to him. And if he goes for the swing, he needs to connect, but just misses out as Ash goes for a breaching charge. That's it. There's pressure that's coming over from break room door as well. Choppy's leaning in. They're trying to do as much, but it's Mag that gets the lockdown onto one, and there's Choppy with the second. Suddenly, they have control underneath and putting the pressure across on the CC side on these recent three rounds. Stepping in one and one and one. Lily gets one, leaving just nobody. A flawless round and a 5-5 tied up game. Do they know that he's just tacked up above them? No, is the response. Lily, an easy removal, a quick flight back. You're looking at 10 seconds and a drop down towards the site itself. This defensive play and the change of pace here from the side of Fav has worked wonders. They've rotated back up towards the top. Ram is going to see if he can stick the plant, but at this point, as the pressure comes around from every which way, the last little modicum of Fnatic holds a bit of a ground, but a one versus three. Ram in the lion's den. And they were hungry. Fav, they find themselves on map point. Get themselves close towards the drop. The fight around waiting room and the rotate as Mag sees if he can stick the kit. In the meantime, a full 10 people on the board engagement. And there it is, trying to find their way through. They had no idea that he'd just gone for the hop and gone for the plant itself. Mag, he's now tucked in. He has himself in a little pocket of safety. They have all the angles they need just to get this cover down. And suddenly, this arms off game from Fav is entirely coming back to bite them. A three versus three versus two. A bit of a scrappy lead back in. They've got some rest control of the site itself, but that is a hold from Ramu that is very tricky to break. Behind that, the see-through glass, Afro with the run out doesn't get him too far. We're going to OT. We are going to overtime indeed. Shin, in the meantime, he's able to finally strike, finds Mag on the far side. Not sure if it was a long wait and kill, but there it is. It's suddenly just Ramu left with the kit, 20 seconds. Gets a triple for the round. He's really been doing the business, but unfortunately for him, the rest of the team could not. There's a width, there's an engagement, there's a drive towards a site that's otherwise not had a huge amount of pressure onto it. Has to just blindside all the way through and somehow makes it an entirely uncovered run here. No and, well, they have no clue, so he's going to stick it. There's a fight that's about to happen. They're looking for the fr no engagement. Way. He gets a quick no he gets an ace! Ramu! Ramu should not have been allowed to do that! They didn't check the corner, they were too far away! But it's also one body less on the board that will be challenged, and as Taipan retakes that spot, it is Yura that will find Chopi before Shibisu responds and finds him back. Here inside CCTV, one onto break, and then the swing through there, finally. Put out of the misery of Fab, but Lily might be that difference maker if he's gone unchecked. Well, he's able to hammer. check them out. The kick goes cold once again. The breach from behind him. He suddenly got the awareness that it's this two versus two. Does he know where the player is? How no long way. ago was that planted? He swings round into long corridor, and he's able to take the head off of Afro. Light is all that's left here of the hope of Fav pulling two points of this engagement. They've pulled themselves and tucked on the opposite side of the hard wall. He's going to swing that side first. There's a pre fire that comes through. He hits one, gets the down, looks for the second, can't quite get it. It's a pocket full of seconds. He's going to sprint to the side soon. He's pulled off the same magic as before. He's doing it dangerously close to the door. Oh, There's they a spray know. through. And Fnatic take the two points.